are. Happy Friday. We are live and welcome to the IT Hour. I think we have a lot of new faces today. So we're going to do things slightly differently than we normally do. And usually we just jump right in and I just uh, go with the normal spiel. But today we're going to actually introduce ourselves <laughs> and kind of do things a little differently instead of assuming you know who we are. Nice, nice enough to have our names on the screen. But I'm Becky Scott. I'm your host. We have Alexa Emerson, my co-host and co-conspirator. Uh, Chase is a familiar face if you have been at the IT Hour before. He works with us at Jump Cloud. And we have Seth from Google. We're very excited to have everyone together today. If you haven't been on the IT Hour before, we are a weekly show for IT admins by IT admins. And we are so excited today. We've got lots of great stuff. We were just chatting uh, in our little green room beforehand and uh, talking about, well, you know, what what's coming up the weekend and things like that. So anybody have any good plans for the weekend? Hint, hint, Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> sure, yeah, no, I'll kick us off. Yeah, um, I am headed down to Atlanta. For those who don't know, I'm in Greenville, South Carolina. So Atlanta is pretty close to me. But yeah, I've been looking forward to this weekend for a while. I'm going to see Taylor Swift in concert. Um, so yes, I'm I'm pretty excited. <laughs> Head down tomorrow morning. Gonna make a whole day of it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a good time. I'll report back next week. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We'll ask you about that. Uh, so no real plans this weekend. Although yesterday was my dad's birthday, so I called him and wished him a happy birthday last night. And we chatted for a little bit. So that was fun. Chase, anything good for you? Um, well, I guess I'm excited. My my wife has actually come back from a trip. So I'll stop being solo parent for a little bit. And then I'm actually going to run off for a golf tournament of all things. So it'll be a nice kind of like, hey, all right, your turn. That really <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Awesome. That Hi, bye. Yeah, exactly. Here you are. All right. Look, everyone's yeah. still alive. Bye. Yeah. What about you, Seth? Let's see. I'll be about as busy as uh, a guy with three kids ages eight to 16 can be. Um, so oh, lots of family crazy. stuff. I'm actually, and uh, probably, uh, yeah, that's it. And then tomorrow coaching a uh, high school track meet for eight hours. So uh, standing outside in the, hopefully not rain for eight hours coaching a high school track meet. So yeah, we've had a, we've had a little bit of rain on the East coast for the last few days. Yeah. So yeah. It'll be, I'm, I'm hoping, I haven't checked the weather, but I'm hoping it stops for a while. I'm kind of tired. The sun has finally peaked out this morning. So yeah, I'm hopeful for a nice weekend. Not here. I'm, <laughs> I'm looking out my window and it's still gray. So there's still hope though. At least it's not hot. I will, I will take it over the heat. So there's that. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us. I'm seeing the numbers tick up up, up, up. So that is good. We're happy to have everyone with us today. So usual agenda is we, uh, we do our intros and then we jump into talking about what is going on in the jump cloud community. The community is our community forum where our it admins get together and talk about all things, uh, it, everything that's going on in the it world. Uh, it's not limited to jump cloud topics. It could be anything about what it's like to be an IT admin. You can talk about work, you can talk about career, you can talk about business, all of those things are welcome. And then Alexa jumps into talking about meetups and then we have a little bit of product news and then we'll jump into the main feature, which is probably why most of you are here, talking about uh, Jump Cloud and Google and new partnership we have going on. So I will jump right into, no pun intended, that happens all the time, not on purpose, I promise. Um, just the way it goes, <laughs> but in community. So we have a, a fairly new blog that if you've been here before, you know about it, but if not, uh, it's called the radical admin. We have a lot of great new posts and one just popped up this morning and Charles, thank you for the great title. It's uh, Charles has been doing a PowerShell series for Mac admins. And today part five is called pivot pivot. If you have watched Friends at all, then maybe you will have visions of um, Ross and Friends doing the pivot scene with the couch on the stairs. So that's what brought to mind for me. But there are a bunch of new blog posts, uh, like creating effective email sequences with chat GPT to attract new businesses to your MSP. So if you're an MSP, you may want to check that out. 
There are also several others that we will post in the uh, recap on the IT Hour recap page. We'll put a link to that as well as all of these other um, posts that we have going on. Uh, there's a post about if a promotion is right for you, like maybe you might want to decide if you want a promotion or not. So lots of posts in the community, go check those out. And then Alexa, I'm going to go ahead and put it over to you. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Becky. So like Becky said, I manage our meetup network here at Jump Cloud. So we are a global network of IT admins who get together, um, across the world. Uh, right now we're in seven countries. We have 20 different groups. Um, we're based on meetup.com. So that's where we kind of publish all our events and you can join, check it out, uh, see if your city is there. Um, but yeah, so for announcements, we have uh, an upcoming meetup in Raleigh. So hang out with Becky and co. Uh, but that is going to be Tuesday, May 16th. Um, and we are going to be at the Umstead. So it's going to be a good time. The Raleigh group is a great group. Um, so if you're in the area, uh, be sure to check it out. Again, that will be published on the meetup network. Um, and yeah, the other announcement is last week, uh, we had the first Twin Cities Mac admins group, uh, Keith who is a friend of the show. Um, he has kicked that off there, relaunched that group, um, and they had a good crew there, um, and they're excited to keep that going. So chatted with him. They are going to look to have another meetup in the next four to six weeks. So um, as soon as we have details on that, I will share that for, for folks who are in the, the Twin Cities area. Um, but yeah, the meetups are a lot of fun, great way to just connect um, in a super informal way um and get to know each other network talk shop so yeah that is it from me yeah i'm uh i'm looking forward to it uh glad to hear about the, the twin cities and how that went and uh raleigh is always a good time if you haven't been to the umstead before they've got a really great little bar next to heron's restaurant and um really good food i'm i'm <laughs> telling you and i I'm not just saying that because my neighbor happens to be the chef there. So, uh, oh, I see. <laughs> so that's why I'm like looking forward to going because I've been there because I've been there one once or twice. Um, not, not, I need to go. Don't, don't tell my neighbor that I, I still need to go to the restaurant. He knows that uh, it's not a surprise, but there was just a write up in, I'm trying to remember which magazine, a uh, really good food writer. And they were saying, this restaurant should have a Michelin star. Like it doesn't, but it should. It is a absolutely fabulous restaurant. So I'm gonna go on a on a slight side uh, side quest for a second. Um, the Umstead is a, a really well rated hotel and spa, and they have like a, a gallery on on one side. And this chef Stephen Green is amazing. He takes and takes his food and themes it based on the art they have in the gallery. So it's all themed based on that. And they actually have a garden on campus where they grow a lot of their food right there. So it's fresh and it, it's, a, it's really cool. So I think that'll be So fun. if you don't want to go to hang out with Becky, go for the food. <laughs> yeah. I mean, forget me. Go <laughs> go for the good food and drinks. Um, and, and the fact that I'm buying. So yeah, there you go. Well, Jump Cloud's buying. Why did what bury the lead? I mean, start with <laughs> yeah. that's right. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. Kelly said, Are you sure you're not in Portland? No, we're not, but we've got some good we keep getting more and more good food in Raleigh and in Durham. What's some serious stuff here? All right, with that, so there was one quick product release announcement. So there's a re some recent updates to Jump Cloud SAML. If you haven't seen them, we just wanted to point that out. There's a metadata export via URL. Custom attributes are now available as an option when configuring the SAML subject name ID. And you can now configure an app with multiple ACS URLs. There is a post on the community about that and some links to more info. So make sure you check that out. And with that, Chase and Seth, I think you have some interesting things to talk about. Well, maybe, maybe. Some, some maybe. days. I mean, it, it depends on what, 
we'll be a little bit more characteristic here. But um, yeah, we we just wanted to open up the forum, come and hang out. We're really excited. So for those that that swing by the the Jump Cloud website on Monday, you might have noticed a bunch of confetti met your eyes, which is great. We usually don't pull that out, so you know that's how excited we are is when we should go through the work to kind of make sure and we're able to unpack that. Um, but we're super excited to announce um, this joint partnership with Google Workspace and kind of all the other pieces. I'm partial to it because, you know, I've been a, a Jump Cloud Google Workspace user for the last four years here, right? And so this is hopefully just kind of creating the momentum that we have to everyone within the community and, and starts to, one, kind of making sure that, I think, too, for me, at least the philosophies are, are between the two organizations has been just fascinating to watch and, and working through Seth and team for months on end, right, as we start to craft all this, but making sure that we are able to leverage this, bring it to market, um, and really provide folks with a lot of options, right, outside of your typical legacy on-prem and, and other solutions within that walled garden, really kind of relying on best-in-breed technology allows you to kind of operate no matter where you are. And then you know, I think the best thing too for Google Workspace users, it's really just an extension to kind of what they're already being able to log into and making life a lot easier. And so it's it's fun to see, especially for you know the the hundreds and I think up to thousands of customers now um, that we have between us and making sure that we're able to leverage that too. So that that's why I'm really excited. We had a whole lot of confetti coming out and other pieces. Um, but you know, I, I'd love to hear Seth too, from your perspective, kind of what was it like going through that and kind of how you're thinking on that in the, in the Google Plex side of the world. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Chase. Thank you. I, I was excited to have earned the confetti on the jump. <laughs> yeah. Um, I went over to it on Monday and I said, I can't, I, I'm sorry. I, there's all this interstitial noise here. I can't actually get to what I was trying to click on. And then I realized the noise was for Google and for the partnership announcement. I was like, oh wait, this is something to pause on for a minute. Um, so for those, I just want to say thank you um, to Becky, Alexa, Chase, and the whole Jump Cloud team for having me on today. Um, just for a, maybe a might be helpful for a quick 10 second background. I run Google Cloud's Workspace ISV partnership team. And so we sit in the Global Alliance organization at, at Google Cloud. Um, but why I'm excited about this partnership is actually kind of why I'm at Google. So I've been here for 14 years now. Um, and I came here in 2009 to try to sell Google apps for business at that time, you know, the precursor to workspace uh, into the enterprise space, into the government space, really. I started in our public sector team. And that evolution of our go to market motion in terms of how the product stack has evolved and how our partnerships have evolved and how our ecosystem has evolved has led us to this moment with the Jump Cloud team, which I think is just an amazing opportunity for, for not just Google and Jump Cloud, but more importantly, our joint customers um, in terms of how they use our technologies together. Um, I think I, Chase, correct me if I'm wrong, I think I met the team sometime late last summer, early fall, and it's literally been a whirlwind over these last eight, nine months in terms of putting this partnership together. The team behind me and around me at Google is vast. I mean, I, I think if, if put to the test, I could probably name over 50 Googlers that the Jump Cloud team works with on almost a daily basis to put this partnership together. It's not just me. I'm just luckily here to be the representation of it today. Um, but we're really, really excited about what it means for our customers um, bringing optionality to this space for identity, access management, device management, all of the all of the great things that you guys have come to know and love from Google already uh, and Jump Cloud already. Um, but really bringing those two things together is what's really what's exciting and uh, uh, impactful for us. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, I think it, it's been... You know, it's one of those where it's been so long where like you start to see, I think Craig mentioned that, you know, rotations and haircuts, right? Like that's how long <laughs> this has been yeah. going through. Yeah, I know I'm in trouble when I get on a Google Meet and Greg's like, oh, you got a haircut. Like, <laughs> uh, you were talking too much. Thank you. Or he's like, oh, I like that shirt. I like when you wear that. I'm like, yeah, we're definitely talking too much, Greg. Thank you. <laughs> Exactly. Get get some more of the rotations through. Um, and I think what's really exciting too is, you know, kind of now, yeah, I say, we, we will always treasure the confetti moment. But now we also sets us up for, um, I'd say, a broader stage, um, both in terms of just how we can build out future customer solutions, you know, within the products themselves, 
all those other areas to making sure that over time too, our two organizations continue to align and just make such an easy flow for when you're trying to set up, you know, implement security practices, kind of all the different things that go into that and making sure that your users are on board and, and meet them where they are and, you know, get the right tooling in place, making sure that everyone's life is happy. So that's, that's the other piece kind of as we start to look at, you know, what are we going to do with the rest of our lives here in, in 2023, right? And so it's like, even though it's a moment in time, I'm really excited for the continued ramp and all the other pieces that will we'll be bringing to bear for this, for sure. Yes, I think that's a really good opportunity to just kind of talk about maybe a little bit of what it means for our customers, because it's not just, you know, look, plenty of Jump Cloud users have been Google Workspace users these mm -hmm. last number of years. That that's that's really nothing new. And I'm sure, you know, reading the the comments here on the side in the chat a lot of you here are as well already. I think the important and exciting thing for um, for our customers, current and future, is really um, being intentional about both aligning go-to-markets and aligning how we are messaging and packaging and making this easier for customers. So that's number one. And number two is really aligning our product direction and vision there's so many things you know google is continuing to push the envelope on the product development side for google workspace um, but you've really seen that message coming out of last summer into this year around the strategy around building a vibrant ecosystem to extend um, the platform as well and so whether it comes from first party solutions or third party solutions um, we're really strong believers in that google plus best of breed Mm -hmm. equals a win for our customers and so aligning not just messaging and communication and confetti on a website but actually saying hey how is google going to develop the product in line with jump cloud how is jump cloud going to bring feature and functionality that our workspace customers has been asking of us how does that meet our customers in different layers of the segmentation or in different verticals or different geographies there's really so much more to come in terms of what the partnership means, hopefully. And, and that's really that's really the exciting thing for us. For sure. I'm looking forward to it. I, I think it'll be fun as it kind of continues to wind down and kind of bring others in and around the space too. Cause I think there's an element in that where, as you mentioned, kind of the part of the messaging kind of elements of that is, is the philosophy behind it, right? And kind of having those other areas and really coming into, I'd say the bigger moments, you know, what comes to mind is like onboarding and offboarding, kind of other like heavy lift areas and just being able to make sure that it's it's seamless and coming through and, and kind of all these other areas. So it's, it's nice to see and kind of, especially to kind of the resonation between um, the pickup. And so even though, you know, from press release announcement and other things, even those during RSA, which is, you know, typically when everyone waits, especially within kind of security admin side of the world to um, release all those announcements, like we still got I think, almost 30 different article mentions and other pieces around the partnership. And so it's, it's really got a lot of resonance, I'd say globally as well. Yeah, great. Do you guys want to talk a little bit about um, a practical example of a new benefit since we're getting that in the chat? Chase, you want to start off with that? Sure. Sure. Yeah. Um, I, I'd say, you know, continue to leverage on what we have today, right? As Seth mentioned, like, so this is actually one of our earlier integrations on the Jump Cloud side because um, we saw the demand there. We're Google Workspace customers ourselves um, and really those enhancements. And then I think what we're really coming down to is taking more of a user perspective here. And so like, well, it makes life easy for, you know, admins kind of making sure that there's consolidation, kind of all those other um, positioning points that you can take here. I usually come right back into, you know, what does the user's day-to-day -day work life look like? And so now it's the ability to say, hey, now you can log into your laptop with kind of the same username password. Now you can get in the network. Now you can kind of get into SSO and really kind of enhance what was already there and just go 10 times right and so and there's even elements like that that are starting to unpack within our own um product release schedule right and so when we came out with patching now it's kind of browser patching right and the first one there was was chrome and that's where kind of majority of <laughs> internet utilized go through um and so now you're able to making sure that hey not only on on that laptop but then also on the browsers and it's up to date and then we have android coming 
perilously close. Um, I think that's here. That's like, and so now much more of that ecosystem is all being brought in together. And so from a user's perspective, kind of coming back into that, just making life a lot easier. And then two, in the face of, let's say, you know, larger security threats and other pieces, I know we have some other IT news that kind of go into that where, and that's one area that I've been spending a little bit more time on, is how do you have that balance between, let's make it easy to log in and get your stuff done, right? You don't want to be overly burdened, but what is also the bare minimum? Think, make sure that you're protected no matter where you are, no matter where you're working, you know, um, with colleagues all over the world and even driving through vans and other pieces. So that way it's all put together in a nice cohesive experience. And so that that's kind of one angle from my side, um, but Seth too, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Yeah, you're going to see um, a number of new features come out from the product teams on both sides, better integrating together. Um, I know it's a little vague today, so I apologize about that, but um, there will be a number of product releases throughout the year, hopefully, that are going to bring that tighter integration and more user-friendly integration between the two platforms, whether it be device management or integration into some of Google's uh, current security products. So that is going to come. You're also going to see uh, a lot tighter joint messaging and a lot tighter um, uh, ability to procure services and implement services directly in a package from, from Google and Jump Cloud. So as we look at um, existing and then new customers, taking the pain out of that Google Plus best of breed evaluation, implementation, evaluation, purchase and implementation process that traditionally exists. Um, a lot of that burden has been on the shoulders of our customers throughout those, the last number of years. Um, we're trying to pull that burden onto the shoulders of, of Jump Cloud, of Google, and quite frankly, our joint partners together to yeah. make that uh, onboarding and implementation experience much more seamless for our customers. And so there'll be a lot more to come there. Um, but what I can say is that a lot of the partnership is focused around that product level integration and alignment in terms of you know what we're doing together in terms of where we're building our stack and and there's a lot more to come and we we're confident it's going to be exciting for our customers yeah and i'm glad you brought up the partners too because uh, i mean obviously that's a little bit more of your role just where you spend um you know a, a majority of your time and making sure that you know our joint partners are set up for success but you can also think about it right and kind of their level as well so like how do they become even more operationally efficient? How do they make sure that they have those best practices so that way every piece down the line, you know, from Jump Cloud, Google, the partners to end customers, and, and even if there's another kind of MSP in there as well, but kind of depending on the relationship, that that whole chain is working together in concert. Yeah. And then too, that's a great feedback mechanism for us, right? As we go through now, but then also, you know, nine months from now, 18 months from now, kind of like, what are those elements that we can bring to bear? Yeah, the, the workspace the workspace market has always been a very partner centric ecosystem for us. Uh, you know, workspace as a technology is so powerful as a collaboration platform. The reality is though there is um, such a broad list of partners and services that kind of come with a company either migrating and transitioning into the stack or growing organically um, as a new business um, in workspace from day one. Training, migration, implementation, change management, there's so many pieces to that. A lot of what we've done here is not just make sure that Jump Cloud and Google are you know, on the same page, so to speak, but it's really bringing our partner community around. Um, and that's that goes global, right? And so I think, <laughs> So many of my my conversations with Greg and Rajat have been at 10 at night, 11 at night, talking to partners all around the world um, and really making sure that we are empowering not just our two companies, but our ecosystem around us to deliver value here uh, is really been kind of core to the planning and all the work that we've been doing these last these last eight, nine months. For sure. So we have a question about, do you see this as how Google competes with Azure? Would you like to talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, I, th I think in general, I think in general, so I, I mentioned before that I've been doing this for Google for 14 years. And I think when we started selling 
SaaS cloud-based um, applications. So we're talking about, um, you know, 2009, 2010, we're launching Google for Business, we're going out to market, we're selling this new way of empowering employees in an organization. So much of those conversations back there were about how do we hook this new cloud-based SaaS application into the legacy tools that an organization might use. Those might be directory services tools, those might be security and identic, uh, uh, authentication tools. They, it could be a variety of things. But if I think about it, it was like almost like a Lego brick. You know, you had this big Lego um, model already built and you were just making sure that you snapped one cloud-based brick to it where it didn't bring the whole thing crashing down and you had to be really, really careful where you put it and how the structure was built to not break it all apart. You transition to now and everything is there. You know, an organization doesn't use one SaaS application, one cloud-based application. They're using hundreds. Some organizations are using close to a thousand cloud-based applications um, and so much more of their infrastructure is moving that way. I think this partnership especially in the segmentations, the customer segmentations that Jump Cloud has just been so wildly successful in to date is a huge opportunity to bring optionality to our customers where they can continue with legacy tools around identity and access management, but they can also look to modernize and migrate to a platform like Jump Cloud with Workspace but that's not just benefit benefiting Google and Workspace. That's benefiting that company in terms of all the other applications and all the suite of products that they have. That challenge of managing that fleet of applications is a very real challenge for customers. And being able to unify in a modern identity access management platform like Jump Cloud, endpoint management and having that seamlessly and natively integrate into something like workspace which is so core to how an organization operates but not just workspace a ton of other SaaS applications as well i wouldn't say the word it's a way to compete i would say it's the way to provide optionality mm -hmm. and the way to put the power of those technology decisions into the hands of the customer not the vendor or a vendor or a handful of vendors. Um, and I really think, if I think back to all of my time at Google Cloud and Enterprise or Google for Work, whatever we've called it during my time here, core during that whole time has been providing customer optionality, flexibility, and choice, um, providing the greatest um, functionality in a hybrid environment, whether hybrid used to be defined as cloud plus on-prem or hybrid is defined as this cloud versus that cloud or this SaaS application versus that SaaS application. That's really been, you know, foundational to Google's strategy is really ensuring that, you know, hybrid um, optionality, putting that power in the hands of our customers. We think this part partnership accelerates that for workspace um, because of the, the power of Jump Cloud, the strength of this platform. Um, and really the strength of a whole host of new third-party um, partnerships that we're launching and continuing to launch throughout the year. Yeah, I'm glad you mentioned the, the optionality. I think that's too where the philosophies again merge. Um, you know, so so we typically say, hey, we'll just call it Jump Cloud. But when you unpack it, it's it's our open directory platform. And we take the open part very seriously in terms of how we think about where everyone lives, where everyone works, where those identities exist, where are those devices, where are kind of the policies that meet everything in the middle. And by being able to provide that for folks, it allows for much more flexibility than than you kind of even realize in the moment, because you're looking at organizations kind of within snapshots of time and organizations grow, like you need to switch out, you need to do other things that um, allow you to have that flexibility, right? Even from other SaaS applications to moving infrastructure to all those different areas. And so making sure that we're able to hook into everything that you are not only leveraging now, but are also moving towards in the future. And that's really one of the pieces that I think we're really well aligned on is so you're combining, you know, all these elements of 
best in class collaboration, um, and then combining in elements of IT admin and security and all these different pieces, but it's set up in a way that you're not <laughs> locked in forever, right? And, and this is, it's those moments where you have those optionality and kind of pick and choose as you know, the world changes as we go into 2024. And I'm sure it's going to be yeah. an even better year than it has been I, for here. But I, 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 I agree, Chase. And, you know, it's funny. I go back to the, you know, years ago, the first time I was sitting in front of prospects and customers talking about Google apps for business at that time. And, and I always got the question about directory services. You know, how do you integrate with our directory services, our identity um, and access management, you know, solutions and, and our answer back then was, don't worry, we won't touch it. Like we're, you know, SAML solves it all. We'll just hook into it. We won't touch it. Everything can stay there. It's too important. Put it there on that computer, that server, hug that server and like leave that where it is. Um, that was a good answer for us back then. But, you know, we were also selling Gmail, Calendar and Docs against legacy on-prem Groupwise and Exchange and so many other legacy um, email platforms back then. You fast forward to today and, and Workspace is an AI driven, multifaceted, ever expanding collaboration and communication platform. But it's that's one thing and so much more of how that organization goes to market, operates, runs itself employees work every day, all has evolved in that direction as well. And so the legacy on-prem hug the server potentially approach to those core services, which are still critical. And I would almost argue more critical today around directory services and identity and access management. We've gone from a, if I can see it, I can trust it to a trust nothing and approach. And so that's evolved. Google's evolved with it. And I think that that partnership and the way Jump Cloud um, provides that flexibility for so many thousands of customers today is just a critical piece to the puzzle. Um, you know, we're continuing to develop our own first party technology here, but that's, that's, you know, as those companies grow and as they need more flexibility, you know, Jump Cloud is just so perfectly aligned and this partnership is so perfectly aligned to start, you know, evolving with those customers and driving so much of that growth forward. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, you know, and it sets us up for the future. So like running through seeing some of the comments from by so like Jeff, right? And so getting to that ideal future place where you're like, hey, I just wanna be in this marketplace or another one and just have it automatically come together, right? And I think that's hopefully where we want to get everyone to in terms of not only just in the setup mode, but imagine kind of further down the line, what does the maintenance look like? What are kind of all these other pieces where that's where kind of our product roadmaps, you know, start to merge a little bit more and emerge a little bit more, right? Because we're serving so many joint customers and really solving not just the, the cool features, right? But making sure that we're solving the right solution or coming together, right? With the, the right solutions. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and the marketplace comment is a timely one and a good one. And we'll continue to hopefully evolve into that space. Um, and that feedback too, you know, you're starting to touch on that chase a little bit. Uh, I don't think Google workspace would be where it is today without, um, just constant and dedicated feedback from customers and users all around, um, the world. Uh, and so, you know, feedback on this partnership, feedback on workspace, feedback on jump cloud, feedback on jump cloud plus workspace, all of those types of things become super critical in terms of driving the strategy forward in terms of where we continue to go. Um, I thought I would take a break after nine months of talking to jump cloud every single day once the partnership launched. And I think probably talk more now than before. Um, <laughs> and that just is kind of a signal to where how much more work there is to do and how much more excitement there is to do in terms of getting all of this working and running. It's one thing to agree and build. It's one thing to agree, align and launch. It's another thing to build, execute and deliver. And, and that's really where we're maniacally focused at this point. You're not going to get rid of us anytime soon. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm, not, I'm planning on it. So good, good thing you like us. It's true. <laughs> Becky, Becky will threaten nice dinners and other pieces. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nice we, we found out that we're not that far apart. That might actually 
that might actually happen. Um, Alexa, you had a couple of uh, questions yeah. that we're gonna grab. Yeah, just a few more uh, questions that we're getting in the audience here. Um, so the first one is, what will be the difference for companies already using both Jump Cloud and Google Workspace? So I, I think kind of two parts, and I, I guess I'll I'll recap a little bit of what we've been chatting about earlier too. So I'd say like out of the box day one, you know, actually several days ago, like on on Monday, right? So no no immediate changes, um, and so we have a lot in the works. However, in terms of where we can take this, and so there's already some elements on um, Jump Cloud's roadmap that we're continuing to execute on, right? And so, kind of Android, I mentioned, is kind of falling within that. We're also doing more around um, some upcoming stuff around attributes. And so, quick plug, right? So, I encourage everyone to kind of come and join us for um, our roadmap webinar coming up. I believe in about three weeks or so, and we'll be unveiling a little bit more about how that's tied um, and really laying the baseline blocks for enhanced you know kind of functionality on top of that so think of it almost as a step function um that will be coming around to it yeah i mean it, day one or day four i guess sitting here on the partnership probably not much has changed for that that customer um with both workspace and jump cloud first and foremost thank you for being a workspace customer already uh i think you'll see as chase is saying throughout you know more, the the year and into early 2024 uh, a lot more uh, feature functionality as Jump Cloud extends into the platform and actually provides more core services um, and natively into to Google. And you're going to see those services that are there today um, be more seamless and be more um, uh, be better aligned and and uh, more integrated into the platform. So there's a lot on the roadmap right now. Um, there's a lot of engineering work uh, spinning up. Uh, and I think our customers that are already on both platforms will see those new features begin to start rolling out throughout the year. Uh, and hopefully that value that you've already invested in both platforms will continue to grow uh, over that time. Yeah, as well. And then for, as we mentioned too earlier, um, on the partner side, right? So kind of while we were um, if we're existing, but then also kind of making sure that we're enabling those partners kind of other pieces. And so there'll be more feedback, more other pieces. Um, and then so again, another quick shameless plug, if, um, feature requests, all the other things. Uh, next time you're in the console, feel free to, to drop us a note. Our product team sees those, runs through them um, every day. And so we have an active running stream where I see them come through too. And it's really fun to see those. So as, yeah. as it comes to mind, he's like, oh, wouldn't it be great if we could? <laughs> um, please throw that in. I I was gonna say something you just said, Chase, um, triggered a, you know, another angle here that there's, you know, we're not just saying there's new features coming out, we're also educating and enabling our individual teams. And so the Google team is being um, trained on Jump Cloud and the technology and the value proposition and kind of where the company is going and positioning there, but it's everything from our services and our support teams as well. And same thing on the Jump Cloud side. Um, and then, same thing on our partner side. So if you're working with a Google Workspace partner today, um, as an example in North America, I think at this point we have 95% of our customers that are partner um, supported in North America, those partners covering almost 85, 90% of those customers today are part of essentially an enablement program getting them up to speed on the value proposition, but also the technology um, integration and the future roadmap of how these new how these platforms are going to be working together even better moving forward. And so your partner is right now being trained as well on the future of Jump Cloud plus Google Workspace and kind of what that means, um, what that means uh, for them. Sorry, Becky, I cut you off. Oh, no, that's okay. It's, it's not um, a big deal. Um, we've got, wow, the questions are, are definitely pouring in, uh, we've got some more. So let's see, uh, how will service overlaps be handled example, you know, both of us having SSO. Service oh, in terms oh, of feature. Like, gotcha. like, yeah, gotcha. Like, gotcha. yeah. In terms of feature. Oh, um, I, I guess I'll, I'll come back into, we're here to help. Um, and and provide that optionality, right? In terms of, because, and I, I guess I don't want to provide a, a blanket statement because each organization is very different in terms of kind of 
what's important, even kind of how you view SSO, how much of it is mandatory versus an implementation, kind of in all those different areas. Um, and I typically play the exercise of like, well, let's step back and what would be the easiest um, in terms of going from there. Um, I I will have a, a jump cloud perspective because that's, that's where I live. Um, and we typically like to have it kind of come from jump cloud out because we're typically also provisioning those users into lots of other things. Um, and so it's really where you can save the most time and kind of look in between those areas. So not the most yeah. definitive answer, but we'll solve problems it's, first. And yeah, it it's, it's going back to giving customers choice, right? I mean, it, Google's going to continue to develop first party feature functionality into the platform. We know that that feature um, and those features are going to serve a good number of customers. And we also know that a good number of customers have other requirements, other needs, other technologies that they like using that mm -hmm. um, are going to go beyond maybe some of the first party features. Maybe it's going to complement it. Um, but what we're doing is, you know, we're giving those customers that optionality. We're giving the, them their choice. We have a pretty good opinion about as we think about segmentation and verticalization, like where the sweet spot is for each of those customers, um, customer profiles, I should say. But the reality is that the customer is going to be able to choose the technology that is most impactful and most aligned to their requirements that they need. Um, and, and honestly, that's a, that's a win for Google. Absolutely. Thank you for that. So another question um, and a little bit of a preface here. So uh, they say the most difficult aspect of convincing stakeholders the benefits of Jump Cloud and Google Workspace is separating uh, budgets with two identity services. So how will this partnership unify concepts without having to jump back and forth? That, that I'm, I'm glad you asked because that is what we're building right now. Because um, I think there there's an element of let's get jump cloud and google together right and let's bring out the confetti let's do all the fun things let's make sure that happen now actually i am excited because this is where the real fun starts is now that we have that now everything's starting to add in and be coming together well, I, mean, I know we talked earlier about kind of the messaging and positioning kind of all that um and that's really where we're spending a lot of time and so making sure that you are well armed in kind of those conversations say, hey, here's kind of how to think about, um, you know, a holistic identity experience, right? Whether you're, you're touching areas for collaboration and making sure you're, you're able to get your job done, you're also getting access into all those other different pieces. And oh, by the way, you have such a good security um, perimeter and baseline set up leveraging these technologies that it sets you up for success. And that's kind of where we're diving much deeper into kind of how the positioning, how does this work between the two organizations? Um, and really kind of as you're going through kind of those different stages of optionality, where we are, where we're we growing, um, you know, what are our objectives for this quarter and how do we want to bring that on? Making sure that we're able to provide all of that for you. And so um, actually a decent amount of this is coming into different templates and positioning areas um, that we're going to be arming all of our partners, internal, you know, Jump Cloud, Google um, folks. And so that way it will all be kind of resonating across many different areas, right? And so from whoever you might be talking to, they're all kind of saying the same message on kind of how we're going to set this up and taking into consideration to who you are, who, who you are as a unique organization, right? Um, and making sure that we have all the different pieces. So depending on you know, what options you want to take again now, and then also in the future, as you continue to grow, you're set up for success and you, you have that baseline to, to grow from. Yeah, I would just, I would just add, you know, uh, maybe I'm a little biased here. I, I think at Google, we are remarkably proud and remarkably confident that Workspace is the most innovative, the most powerful, um, collaboration platform for companies in the world today. Um, AI being, you know, built into it for years and being um, continually innovated on this this year as well. Um, and, and really pivoting, not pivoting, but evolving into um, so many new powerful spaces for, for a company and our customers. 
that also involves um, strong partnerships across the stack, up and down the stack, um, and into so many different areas. Um, and we feel very, very powerful and confident about this one um, with Jump Cloud. To get back to kind of the question a little bit as well too, we, we have to make this as easy as possible for customers. And that is both from the technology itself, but also the way to procure the technology, the way to implement the technologies, the way to evolve and use the technologies together. And so um, there's a lot more work to come here. And the way I would say it is the Google team and the Jump Cloud team and really our organizations are, are dedicated to continuing to make this more powerful, more um, uh, effective, uh, and and easier uh, on our customers to, to leverage. And so uh, we'll continue to evolve that. We'll continue to take the feedback on that as well, always. Um, but, you know, our goal is to make this uh, easy for customers uh, and really give customers the, the power to make their own decisions, implement these technologies, and really get the most out of it. It's a great question, Stephen. Thank you. So we've got, um, I think we talked a little bit about this earlier, but I don't know if we officially answered it about um, understanding what this partnership means for people who are already using Jump Cloud with Google Workspace. Yeah, I think today, um, we, I think we touched on this, but just to, to yeah. hit on it again, um, there's a lot more technology um, feature functionality that you'll see coming out throughout the year. So day one, not much different. Um, two, three months from now, as Jump Cloud and Google start to roll more out, you'll see um, the investments you've made in each of those platforms continue to grow for you. Um, and so you'll see new features that you might have asked for, or might be looking for, or, or might not even know you want to leverage that are out there and better integration. So the product teams are aligned, the product teams are kind of swimming in the, the rowing in the same direction. And I think those customers who are already in the platforms uh, a, thank you again for already being there, but B, you're going to see the value of that that partnership and those product alignments coming uh, throughout the year. Awesome. Perfect. And let's see, can you speak to any integration with Google's advanced mobile management and how that might fit with where it seems like Jump Cloud is wanting to go with uh, module device conditional access? Chase, you want to take that one? Yeah, I, I was just running through it. Um, I guess nothing in detail, and what I mean by that, unfortunately, like not to not to be vague. Um, I, I think, as Seth mentioned, though, still each organization will continue to develop against kind of our respective roadmaps, um, what we feel is important and how we're going to support our customers across the globe. Um, and so with that, yeah, there's going to be some overlap between kind of features and other pieces. I know we kind of mentioned SSO even earlier too. And really the goal here around this is like, let's just provide more optionality. And so it might be one of those pieces where you feel more comfortable in one system or another, but, and, and, and that's kind of the goal though, right? Is to making sure that you're able to pick the the best option for you and your organization as it goes out. Um, and then to, I guess another quick plug again, um, we'll be sharing a lot more on the Jump Cloud side and kind of what this will be really coming to fruition. Um, again, here in a couple of weeks on a roadmap webinar where we'll be able to kind of showcase not only where we are today, um, but then also what are the layers of technology that we'll be introducing to then set us up for even further, right? And kind of as it goes into, it's like more work around, around attributes and, and deeper integrations in certain areas um, to making sure that all those different pieces, regardless of its identity access or devices, they're all kind of coming together and making sure that it's, it's, it's seamless across those areas, but giving you the optionality to do it. And so we can probably dive in a little bit deeper on, you know, what are the deltas, you know, um, between that on the device management side for sure. Awesome. Thank you. So one other question, and I, I know we've touched on this a little bit, but maybe to, to close the loop on it. So they ask, what areas of Google Workspace and Jump Cloud will no longer be developed due to it being a strength of the other? And they shot at examples, SSO, computer management, MDM, things like that. So the question, Alexis, is like, which areas will kind of 
he developed due to strength. Ah, um, I would probably take a stab at nothing, right? Yeah. I mean, this is, um, we're overusing the phrase, but I, I think it's the right word, optionality, right? So we're, Google is not gonna stop developing in certain areas of with the workplace product stack. We'll continue to double down in new areas. Um, we'll continue to keep features that are there um, and continue to develop them forward. You'll, you'll see a ton. You saw the Google Next and you saw it moving. Uh, you'll see it more this year, a ton of um, product focus and development around AI and infusing even more AI to the stack. I mean, I think the first AI features came to workspace in you know almost six, seven years ago by now. But we're not gonna also stop developing any areas and just say, oh, okay, our now answer is jump cloud for that. And the way I kind of think about this is if, if I'm a customer and I ask Google a question about a feature and Google says, oh, jump cloud, that's the answer. That's a great answer, actually. I, I'm a little biased. I think it's a fantastic answer. But if that customer is not a jump cloud customer, I've now created more evaluation and more pain in that customer's decision and understanding about whether or not Workspace is the right platform for them. But if I say, well, Google has this, Jump Cloud has that, other partners have these feature and functionality and benefits over there, customer, what are your requirements and what's the best for you and your environment? That's about putting that control and power back in their hands. I think that's what a robust ecosystem looks like in a, a platform like workspace and i think that all leads to the answer to the question that we're you know we'll continue to develop in these areas but we view customers in specific segments and markets as probably better aligned to a google first party feature or a jump cloud first party a third party feature or even another partner mm -hmm. um, feature and so we want to make sure we meet those customers where they are um but where they are also changes and every customer is in a slightly different position so we will continue to develop those features ourselves and then we'll continue to build um as you know the robust partnerships that we think the market is signaling that we need to help you know give that choice and that control back to those customers like like this one yeah Exactly. And, and um, again, on the Jump Cloud side, um, we will continue to develop everything that we can, um, best in breed, kind of continue on our roadmap as it stands. I'm excited to share it again here in a couple of weeks. I guess I can, I can say definitively, we will continue to not build email and collaboration <laughs> services, right? But everything else in our open directory purview, um, you know, it, it's still full bore. Well, it's one of the things too. We, JC mentioned the cultural stuff before, and um, to me, it's one of the cultural parts of Jump Cloud that first kind of caught my attention. I think the first time I met, you know, Greg and Rajat, and they went through describing the company and the the ratio of you know, you guys are just an engineering first company. You're just focused on building great products that customers need and want and and ask you for, uh, and that I remember. I think Rajat told me the the breakdown of engineers to like total employees at Jump Cloud, and I said I think you misspoke. It's like no, no, no. That's that's actually our company. We are an engineering first company. We are you know focused on building great products to meet the market where we think it needs to go and help, quite frankly, lead the market where it needs to go. And um, so please don't change that culture of innovation and development. <laughs> Because it's one of the things that I think is so powerful about the story. I think it's one of the things too that aligns so well to Google. Yeah. yeah and we sure. love getting customer feedback. I mean, that is that is really huge for us is listening to what our customers want and then adding that into what we're doing. It is a really big deal to hear what people are using and what they're doing. And that feeds into that that engineering piece and yeah. building what people are going to use and not just you know, building what sounds cool. So we really try hard to uh, to make sure we're doing that. It shows. Thank you. Glad to hear that. Uh, so many more questions. We've only got about five minutes, but Seth, if you can stay a little bit great, if you can't, then we understand because we know that you are super busy. I have a hard stop at the 
bottom of the hour, but I can go a few more minutes. Okay. So let's see. We've got, will we see any first fruits of this during Google I.O.? Um, I will just say, I yeah, <laughs> I don't have a lot of uh, um, inside knowledge to share on, on the I.O. messaging. So I'll just, uh, I'll smile and respect the question, but, you know, uh, can't answer it really too much. Smile yeah, and, wave, and I think I, I, on, on the jump outside to, I don't have the um, IO agenda in front of me either way, folks. But <laughs> yeah, I, I guess I can say like we're not. Um, we typically just coming back to Seth's comment around engineering. We typically don't use um, events or kind of other things as milestones for as soon as a feature is ready. Like we are trying to get it out the door because. Not everyone might be attending that event, whatever it might be, and, and we're we're a global organization with you know customers all around the world. And so as soon as it's kind of engineering complete and GA, like that's that's why we try to host these and making sure that new feature functionality is out there as much as you know it. Um, and then too, as I guess we get closer to around that later in the year, again we'll be able to share a little bit more on kind of roadmap, what's happening um, within the Jump Cloud side, and then kind of any other tie-ins. Awesome. Yeah. So one more. Um, how long ago did the partnership discussion start? Um, I mean, I yeah, I, I guess I, I can start in the way back machine. Um, so when I first joined Jump Cloud as um, our kind of first director of strategic alliances, we're, we're working with Google. Like, again, it was one of our, our kind of first deep integrations. Um, making sure that we operate across all different areas. We're there in marketplace and kind of other other pieces. And so I'd say this has been a long time coming. Um, and then I'd say, you know, all those conversations have, I'd say, ramped up in more seriousness and are kind of at least <laughs> much more of Seth's time <laughs> in, in that regard. Um, and probably the last uh, few quarters. Ten months, ten months. Yeah, a few quarters. Like right. yeah. I mean, obviously, you know, we've got a, a rich set of public APIs and we have a lot of partners that we work with on a daily basis um, that are building against them and a lot of partners that are building against them that we don't actually come across and, and talk to as often. Um, the Jump Cloud team obviously was working with Google and, and, and building integration for a long time, but I would say the, the modern partnership discussions have really been over the last three quarters. I would, so this is not a, Two weeks ago, this sounded like a good idea. Let's do a press release and say, hey folks, I mean, there's been a lot, a lot of work gone going into this um, with countless talented people on Jump Cloud and, and Google uh, teams uh, for, for at least three plus months here. I'm um, three plus quarters, I should say. Yeah. And and I think, you know, an element of that is just like it's it's not because it just like takes that long. It, I think it it there's a lot of layering and making sure that we want to support everyone at every every layer, right? Making sure, sure partners are comfortable with it, making sure everyone kind of understands positioning and that we have kind of all the tools at everyone's disposal to make sure that, you know, it's not just the announcement, right? It's making sure that life is easier, that implementation is easier, that conversations are easier, all those different elements. So there's been a lot of layers over that time to get us to this point. But then the good news is it's like that's now just our net new baseline and we can continue to grow there and, and add more value as as we get through this. So. Yes, no Vegas Chapel, you know. <laughs> Long live the king, you know. I'm sure he's still for <laughs> whatever the services cost and drive through. <laughs> Well, I think with that, we are getting close to time. Um, <laughs> we're seeing no Vegas little chapel drive through wedding men. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Well, any final thoughts? I think we have to kind of wrap it up now since we're getting at time. I mean, my final thought is just, you know, Becky, thank you. Um, thank you for the opportunity to speak today. And thank you to all the people who have been so actively participating and listening to us and Hope this has been valuable, um, but really just to the entire Jump Cloud team, uh, all the way across the company. Uh, so many great people we've met and worked with over these last number of quarters. Um, excited about where the partnership is for our customers and excited about the future. And so thank you for the opportunity.
Oh, yeah. And thank you for taking the time to join us and all the great answers and stuff. We've really had a great time. And uh, I don't know, I think um, there's a potential meetup. I mean, I think we, if we each drive two hours, we can meet halfway and figure out what's, I think <laughs> Richmond, Richmond would be about halfway between us. And let's uh, figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. We might be able to do that and find something fun in Richmond. So thank you all for joining us. Uh, happy last Friday of the month. We are all, oh, wait, I guess I should channel Justin Timberlake and say it's going to be May. <laughs> next time we, <laughs> next time we see each other i couldn't think of anything taylor swift quick enough alexa sorry all so, right <laughs> you know but anyway thank you everyone for joining us we hope that those of you who are new to the it hour we hope you'll come back and see us again next time we always have a lot of fun and uh do some fun and interesting things each week and we will if you need to rewatch it you can rewatch here on crowdcast or on our youtube channel and uh, we hope to see you again next week so take care and we'll see you soon thanks everyone bye everybody thank you bye